Hello and welcome in today's tutorial. I would like to show you how I made this animation, for example for your social media campaign or for some presenting multiple objects on one slide, basically I mean the pictures. It's so simple but yet it looks so effective. I was doing a course about social media marketing, creating social media posts and working and animating with those. So how did I do this photograph animation? Let me show you. If you have a situation where you need to animate several photographs, you can simply drag and drop those photographs into PowerPoint. What you need to do, because as you can see, the height automatically is adjusted, but this picture doesn't cover the entire slide. If you need to cover it for the entire slide, you need to select crop, you need to extend the crop to the entire slide, and then simply here on the drop down you press fill. This will automatically fill the entire crop area. Then you simply select crop. You can right click, send this picture to back and you can click on the next picture and do the same. I'll do this for the four pictures that we have here. So I simply crop, I extend the crop area and I crop it to fill or fit this entire crop. Boom crop and I have the next picture done. Send to back and it's basically prepared. Once I finished the crops, I went to animations, I clicked on the first picture that I see, I opened the animations and from the exit effects I used the very simple fade off. You can see what this does. The red animation, the fade off, let me open the animation pane here on the right side, this fade off makes this first visible picture to disappear. Do not waste any time, I was just moving this to the side, using the animation painter and painting the same animation over to the next picture. Boom, moving it over to the next picture, boom, moving it over and animation painter painting over the animation. Maybe not the last one because we would have a blank white slide background here. Alright, once you have this exit animations, I do not have time to position the pictures back here in the middle, so I click on the first picture, next, shift click, next, shift click, shift and click on the next. Go to picture format, align, align center, align, align middle, and they are all aligned. Now I can take all three of them and drag them back into the position. Alright, what is the end result of this animation? I'll press F5, the end result of this animation would be here we could have multiple elements on the slide. For example, here on the front we could have a menu, but each time I click I'll have this nice fade off between those pictures. With each click another thing from the shop could appear here on the main screen. This is a nice little fade off animation technique which is valuable to learn. If you want to learn more about this, I have a link to the course down in the description where we design all of those slides, then I show you a few tricks with those slides, how to animate them and overall nice things. So thank you for watching to this lecture, I hope this was an interesting tutorial and I will see you in other ones like this.